Cardinal George Pell has died at the age of 81. George Pell was born in Ballarat in 1941 and ordained as a priest in 1966. Schoolboy from Ballarat who went from being one of the Pope's right-hand men to the public face of one of Australia's greatest shames. He was named Archbishop of Melbourne in 1996 and Archbishop of Sydney in 2001. His move into the church's headquarters began with Pope John Paul II appointing him to a Vatican commission in 2002. The following year, he wore the red cassock of Cardinal. Georgium Pell, Archiepiscopum Sydneyensem. He was appointed the Vatican's treasurer by Pope Francis, a position which is third in charge at the Holy See. And while his own convictions were quashed, his handling of sexual abuse within the church has long been criticised. Did you in any way cover up offending? No, never. In 2013, to a Victorian parliamentary inquiry, he admitted the church was culpable in a cover-up. Records destroyed, pedophile priests shuffled from parish to parish, but he claimed he was unaware of the many sexual assault claims against fellow priests. I wasn't adequately briefed at all. So you were, again were deceived, were you on this issue? Yes. In 2017 he was charged with a series of sexual offences by Victoria Police. Today Victoria Police have charged Cardinal George Pell with historical sexual assault offences. I'm innocent of these charges. They are false. In my view, your conduct was permeated by staggering arrogance. This means that I sentence you to a total effective sentence of six years in prison. The guilty Cardinal. Absolute pig. Those convictions later quashed by the High Court of Australia in 2020. I've got no anger, no hostility towards my complainant. I never had some reason. I feel a bit sorry for him. Do you ever think about your legacy and about the fact that in years to come and even after, long after you're gone, when people look up the name Cardinal George Pell, it will forever be associated with the charges that were made against you with child abuse? My only concern is to get the truth out there. And I mean, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things too much what people think about me. Uh, but I am keen that the church is not judged unfairly.